Everybody poops, right? But do you know how to poop in the woods? Friends of Highlight and the Mountain Mamas want to give you a few tips or a friendly reminder if you're already poop savvy on how to poop correctly in the woods. Outhouses are pretty straightforward. They're designed for pooping. What they're not designed for is trash. Dumping trash in an outhouse makes it extremely difficult and expensive to pump. The person doing the pumping has to pick your trash out of the rest of the mess by hand, and nobody wants to do that. Another important thing to know about outhouses is that you should always close the seat lid after use. The closed lid is critical to proper ventilation and helps to reduce odor. If you're car camping at a dispersed site, bringing your own backcountry potty is a simple and sanitary pooping option. Anybody who's been on a big river trip knows about this method, the Groover. While there are a number of portable toilet options available for purchase, it's also easy to make your own. All you need is a five gallon bucket with a tight fitting lid, a toilet seat, a liner bag, and dry base material such as cat litter, sawdust, or potting soil. When you set up your campsite, find a private place at least 100 feet away from water to set up your toilet. Line the bucket with a bag, heavy duty contractor bags work well, and put a layer of base material in the bucket. To use, take off the lid and put on the seat. After you're done, add another layer of base material and then snap on the lid. This is important to keep animals from getting into your potty. It's best to limit the bucket to pooping as pee will fill up more quickly. Only waste and toilet paper should go in the bucket. Other trash should be disposed of in your trash bag. At the end of your trip, dispose of bucket contents at an authorized location, such as an RV dump station. Wag bags are another great option for packing out your waste, especially when camping in sensitive areas, such as alpine meadows or places that see a lot of visitors. They're basically burly dog bags for humans. And like dog bags, once used, it's important that you don't just leave the bag in the woods. Because wag bags include a solidifying agent which breaks down and deodorizes poop, you can simply toss your wag bag in a normal trash can once you return home. Each bag contains a hand sanitizer packet, a solidifying agent, a special powder to hide and contain any smells within the bag, and a small portion of toilet paper. To use, Pull out the bag liner on the inside of the puncture resistant outer bag. Remove the hand sanitizer and toilet paper and do your business in the plastic bag. Once you're done, use the cinch loop on the plastic bag to seal and tie off the inner pouch. Then seal the outer pouch using the Ziploc closure. Once properly sealed, the wag bag should be leak and odor free. If you're on a multi-day backpacking trip, you'll probably want to store your used wag bags in a dedicated trash bag in the bottom of your pack or in an outside pocket away from your food. Wag bags are available for purchase at many stores where camping equipment is available and online. You can also create your own wag bag. A grocery bag or two will do the trick, and it's a good idea to bring along an empty screw top jar, like a peanut butter jar, to further seal and odor proof your deposit. When you get back to town, just toss it in the trash. Almost anybody who's been backpacking, camping, climbing, or hiking has dug a cat hole, 
but there are a few key steps to this simple and popular method for pooping in the woods. The first step is proper site selection. You should always select a location that is at least 200 feet from water, trails, and campsites. Select an inconspicuous site where others will be unlikely to walk or set up camp. Also, choose an elevated site where water will probably not go during runoff or rainstorms. The idea is to keep your poop out of water as human feces contain bacteria and viruses that can cause many types of disease. Dig a hole that's six to eight inches deep and approximately four inches wide. Do your business in the hole. When finished, bury your poop with the soil that you previously dug up and disguise the surface so that it blends in into the surrounding area. Do not bury toilet paper or anything other than your poop and natural materials. If you use toilet paper, pack it out in a Ziploc bag. There are many natural alternatives to toilet paper from snow in the winter to balsam root leaves, smooth stones, sticks, and more in the summer. If you're faced with a pooping emergency and do not have a shovel with you, it is still possible to prepare a proper cat hole. Look for an out of the way area with large rocks and dislodge one or several until you have a hole that is six to eight inches deep. Use this as your cat hole and bury your waste with organic soil if possible or reposition the large rock. Do not bury toilet paper under rocks. The idea behind a cat hole is to bury your waste in a manner that it does not enter the water. Heat from the sun penetrating the soil will kill all the pathogens and soil organisms will eventually break it down. Mastering the art of pooping in the woods is important for everybody who wants to help ensure that Highlight stays clean, safe, and enjoyable for all. Happy pooping from your pals at Friends of Highlight and the Mountain Mamas.